Hey guys, this is John. Um, we got a 2006 F-150. Customer complaint is the four wheel drive is acting funny and when he steers it, he says it's hard to steer. Well, I've already put it on the rack and had an assistant go through the uh, four wheel drive high and low and it's always in four wheel drive. So I thought, why is this thing stuck in four wheel drive? Well, I'll show you some. I found this. So Ford, they call their their actuating hubs in the front axles um, integrated wheel ends, IWE. Those are known for usually uh, going bad. Uh, they're inside the uh, front hub and they engage and disengage the front axle. So I thought, what is going on here? Why, why is it always in full wheel drive, even when I put it in two? So I've got the reading here and it says, when the four wheel drive system is in two wheel drive, it applies vacuum to the wheel ends. When in four wheel drive mode, it does not apply. So I thought, well, I'd, I should have vacuum at the IWEs on both of them. I should have vacuum while it's in drive and in two wheel high. So let me show you what I did. So the first thing I did is I, I got up under the vehicle and right here is the vacuum hose that goes to the IWE. So I popped it off and I didn't feel any vacuum. I actually stuck my vacuum gauge on it just to be sure. And yeah, there's no vacuum. I'm connected to the hose now. There's two hoses, but you only connect to the big one. So there's no vacuum at all with it in drive. And there should be vacuum now to disengage the IWEs. So my next thought is I'm gonna go up top and check to see if the vacuum actuator solenoid is allow, opening up and allowing vacuum to come down here. There's one other thing I want to show you. So when you turn this wheel, see how the axle turns with it? That's just the vacuum hose I got disconnected. So when this has vacuum, it should not turn the axle. Mm -hmm no vacuum it should turn the axle so it's doing what it's supposed to but when i apply vacuum here to the big uh, receptacle nozzle whatever where you plug the uh, vacuum in it should disengage from this axle so i'll do that and show that to you okay so i have the vacuum pump hooked up to the iwe i'm going to pull the vacuum Now I'll put, roll the wheel. See how the axle's not turning now? That's the way it's supposed to work. Now I'll release the vacuum and the axle should engage. There you go. Okay, now let's go up top and see what's going on and why this isn't operating. Okay, this right here is the vacuum um, Solenoid. This blocks vacuum or lets vacuum uh, allow it to go down to the IWEs. When this wire right here, I think it's a red wire, is grounded, then it should allow vacuum. The other wire, uh, it's a pink and something, is a constant power wire. So I wanted to check the circuit to make sure we have constant power and we have control here first. So I'm gonna T-pin in the back of the constant power, which is the left. Then I'm gonna put my test light on ground to make sure my test light works. That should light up. Okay, I don't think I have it T-pinned in all the way. Okay, yeah. 
So there we go. I just didn't have it key pinned all the way. So the other wire, the computer grounds that out to open the solenoid. So let's see if the computer is grounding this out. It should be because it's not in full wheel drive. So you got to switch your test light to power side. So when it finds a ground, it'll light. There we go. So the solenoid should be wide open. So I should have, this is the vacuum supply coming from the intake manifold. There should be vacuum going all the way down and into this solenoid here. And if you can see right here, vacuum goes into the bottom. When the solenoid opens up, vacuum comes back out. So we know now through our test that it should be opened because it had ground on this wire right here on the ground control wire coming from the PCM. So let's check and see if we even have vacuum going to the solenoid first. So the bottom vacuum hose, we, we should get a rise. I'm going to plug it into the bottom vacuum hose. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There it goes. We got vacuum. So with this solenoid open, we should have vacuum coming out the top. The, this top hose right here. I know it's kind of hard to see because the plug's in the way, but there's two nipples there. Vacuum goes in here and out this top nipple. Let me plug in just the bottom vacuum. Let me set up my vacuum gauge and see if we have vacuum coming out. Okay, As you, I'm plugged into the top nipple. So we should have vacuum right now. We should have vacuum coming out because the solenoid is on. We do not. So that tells me without a doubt that this solenoid is not working properly. I'm gonna get one ordered and then I'll come back. Here's the part number for the part. And it looks like there's a, here's the new part. You pull this tab out and it looks like it, I don't know if it slides down or up. We'll find out. Looks like it slides down. Here's the old one. Plug your vacuum lines back up. Plug the plug in. Okay, so when I roll the wheel, the axle should not go with it because it's in two-wheel drive. There it is. Let's check the other one. All right. Now let's put it in four-wheel drive and check it to make sure that the axles roll when I put it in four-wheel drive. Okay, we're in four-wheel drive now. And as you can see, the axles roll with it, with the tire and the wheel. Well, that's it. We'll, uh, I'll take it out in the parking lot, put it in four wheel drive a couple times, make sure, but I'm confident that it was just a bad uh, four wheel drive solenoid. And if you run across this video and you like it, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all watching. See you next time.